Hello friends. In today's class, we are going to discuss example one of control flow graph. Welcome again. And now we have, since we have already seen this basic blocks, let's draw this flow graph or let's say control flow graph. So we have identified the leader and we have subdivided everything into this uh, basic block. And now uh, let's have this uh, basic block. So instruction number one was a basic block. Two was a basic block. Then as I told you that this the entire statement is one basic block. This 10 and 11 is one basic block. Uh, this 12 is one basic block. And then finally this entire part is your one basic block. So now, so what we need to do is we have to draw this, uh, the flow of control. So the flow of control, okay, if I say at B1, then it will enter from B1 to the block number B2. Then it will enter from block number B2 to the block number B3. And then finally the sequential will flow to B4. Then this sequence will flow to B5. Then the flow will be B6. So this is a sequential flow and here we can show that these are the blocks. There will be an edge from let's say go to 3 and then there is a go to 2. Okay, So there will be an edge from uh, instruction number 9 to the instruction number 3 and I will represent that edge by using this one. Okay, So there will be an edge like this. Then there is a go to 2. So there will be an edge that is originating from this and terminating over here. Finally there will be an edge from 13 to 13 from 17 to that way. Okay, now this is a flow graph. Okay, now this is called a, a flow graph. Now in this flow graph, we'll uh, uh, add here start and end node. So now just add here a start node, start a node. Then what we are having is a B1. Then control flows to B2. Then control flows to B3. Okay. And then there is a statement from the, there is a self loop, you can say that for B3. But here, the first statement that is a meaning. Then control flows to B4. And from B4, end up the statement to second one. So that is this B2. Then there is a B5. And then finally, there is a B6. Control will flow from here to here, like statement, and then add a uh, end. So now this is a start with end symbol, and this is the symbolically I've represented. This is called a control flow graph. Okay, so there's a very minor difference between flow graph and control flow graph that we need to add two more nodes. That is, one is your start. So this is your flow graph and control flow graph example and I hope I am clear with this. Uh, it is based on the concept of leader. Until we get done another leader, everything is belongs to that basic block. Okay. So that's all for this discussion. Uh, thank you.